What is up guys, in today's episode we're going to have a gameplay for you guys, Madden 25 gameplay. Uh, I'm rocking with the Cincinnati Bengals, my opponent has the Denver Broncos. I'm just going to show you some stuff I've been working on, I think I showed you a video similar to this before. Uh, now, hopefully I did, if I didn't, I will try to uh, post that after this video. Uh, but I want to show you guys some of the stuff that I've been doing lately on defense and on offense. Um, Wanted to see, get your guys' feedback, and uh, obviously you guys want to see a couple more gameplays. So, this is what the 4-4 defense should look like in-game. Uh, and obviously I'm going to be working on some stuff here today. So, there's parts of it that I haven't gotten to break down in, um, in a scheme of the week yet. Uh, but I should get to that uh, shoon, uh, uh, soon. Uh, there I got caught off guard, but luckily, uh, Welker was out of bounds. But anyway, uh, if you guys like this type of video content, I'm trying my hardest to get time each day to maybe get a gameplay broken down, um, because I know you guys want more, uh, man, he's snapping the ball like his job, dang, I barely have time to, mm. yeah, that's what happens when you haven't played in a while. I've played, but just not, I haven't played, like, game mode. I've been doing a lot of practice mode. Um, trying to expand on some of the concepts I've been working on before this. And I had something else I was going to show you guys. Oh, that's right, it was out of the 5-2. Um, some of you guys have been liking the 5-2 game, 5-2 uh, defense. And... I have a lot of stuff out of that, actually. I was surprised at how much I was able to find uh, once I started breaking it down. So that will be in the Blitz of the Days uh, soon to come and also a Scheme of the Week. I'm probably going to do it as my next scheme. Um, so hopefully hopefully that will give you an idea. Uh, here, we're not trying to kick return. We're trying to see the offense and defense. So, But... The idea, guys, is to just kind of get you guys some more content. I also really want to break down this Minnesota Vikings offensive playbook. Uh, there's some things in this playbook that are really effective, and I think I would be doing you guys a disservice if I didn't talk about uh, some of the things uh, that I've been doing lately out of this playbook. Um, I still think the Giants playbook is my, my playbook that I want to run uh, if I can, but... Uh, this Minnesota book is not too bad for teams like Cincinnati or San Francisco, teams like that that have uh, really effective quarterbacks that can run but don't have you know great receiving core. Uh, and not necessarily just a, a bad receiving core, but um, maybe not necessarily a great great quarterback with, uh, with a cannon because um, the 49ers have a really good corner, but quarterback um, – but he's not as a you know he doesn't have the most effective um, in, in terms of like receiving core. They don't have some of the pieces I really like to see out of the uh, that I use out of the the Giants playbook. So I've been messing around with this Minnesota playbook. Um, if you guys want to see a really good breakdown on this before you hear anything of what I've done, um, if you go to MadTips.com, it's their first offense and defensive playbook. Uh, in their in their guide purchasing section, uh, you can check it out. They broke down the Minnesota playbook. They also broke down the four three defensive playbook, and um, it was a really good breakdown. I finally got an opportunity to uh, support them and purchase their guides, and I just uh, took a little look to see into what they were doing this season, uh, just so I could give you guys a more a better aspect of feedback. And guys, I'm telling you right now. Um, these guides are very, very effective. Uh, very good guides that they put together. Uh, some stuff that I hadn't even really paid attention to that they have. Obviously, I have some stuff that they didn't put in their guides. So we kind of go back and forth like that. But definitely check out madtips.com uh, and check out that winner's kit. I really, really am a big fan uh, of S. Gibbs and Z. Falls and what they do every year. And I'm going to support them for as long as I come, no matter what happens, because they always put out the best content in the Mad community. I don't care what anybody says. So I definitely want to check that out. Um, real quick, Minnesota's playbook is really effective. The one problem I would say with Minnesota's book, um, and something that you don't have to worry about if you're just going to go online ranked or just play, a, play in tournaments, well, you may have to worry about it if you're playing in tournaments, but one of the things that uh, I noticed out of this playbook 
is it doesn't have, um, excuse me, it doesn't have all of the uh, quick audibles I would like to have. Um, so you have to kind of go from formation to formation. And that's the one unfortunate thing. The quick audibles aren't the greatest. Um, they can get it done. But it's not like it's not like you would be really worried about this playbook. Similar to the way New York Giants is, you know, you kind of have to switch up what your formation is. So I would suggest, um, you know, if you run the custom playbook, when I break down the scheme of the week for this, I'll have um, a full audible setup. And honestly, guys, with the full audible setup, I think that the Minnesota playbook is probably the best balanced playbook in the game. And then I would also um, tend to say that. The, if Minnesota's playbook is the best balanced playbook in the game, uh, the New York Giants offensive playbook is probably the best passing playbook in the game. Uh, just my opinion from what I've seen from other websites uh, in terms of like what what they're running, uh, I think that it doesn't even compare uh, to this Minnesota offense for if you're wanting to run like a more balanced type of approach. Uh, or this uh, New York offense if you're wanting to run more of a pass heavy type of approach. Because some of the passing plays in New York and, Min and Minnesota are just very, very effective, and I feel like that that's what would that's what separates them. Uh, it puts them ahead of the curve. They're an offsides penalty, and in that situation, you want to just kind of at least take a look at the deep ball. Um, there, I actually actually was in such a in such a fourth and inches. I really wanted to get the first down. I really. Just wanted to get the ball out of my hands and, and move the chains. But obviously if I had a chance to go back and do that over again, I would definitely do that in a heartbeat. Should have probably waited a little bit and maybe tried to get Hawkins deep. But unfortunately I did not make that read. Uh, so anyways guys, uh, this pl uh, what I'm doing right here, this is the doubles on. This is a little mini scheme that uh, S. Gibbs showed on TWIM. Uh, you can check that out. This little uh, play-action jet sweep and jet sweep combination works very effective with the Bengals, um, especially when you realize how effective this run is. So definitely, definitely want to check that out, guys. Um, again, that's in their uh, offensive guide. And they, they break that down, I think, in a, in a guide they're going to get ready to do. They broke down the, the jet sweep aspect of it on their uh, weekly web show this week at Madden. So be sure to check that out if you guys are looking for some of the best Madden tips in the community and really just want to support some great guys and watch a great show based off of a game that, you know, that we really want to play a lot of in Madden 25. So definitely want to check that out. I uh, just kind of wanted to give them a shout-out for all they do. I don't get enough opportunities to shout-out everybody in the community. Uh, but if I did have one group of people that I wanted to give a shout-out to, it would definitely be uh, S. Gibbs and Z. Farrells. Um, for all the work that they do in the community and all the work that they do behind the scenes that nobody really understands or notices. So uh, just wanted you guys to, to know that. And this is uh, somewhat, I mean, I don't know. I didn't get a chance to check out all the guide. But I, I, I do know based off of experience, you know, what's effective in the game. So I know that that screen, and we're going to get an empty bunch later. But uh, I know that all those plays are very, very effective. So definitely want to uh, at least give it a look here and I'm just trying out some of the other formations right now um, I I did like the empty bunch uh, probably my favorite formation in the game the only problem with the empty bunch is is the that's a good run by Gio Bernard right there uh, I had nothing to do with that that was all Gio right there good run by him but in order for this playbook to, to surpass Minnesota's book or excuse me New York's book uh, I don't know. I haven't quite found the flow in it yet, but that's possibly just because I spent so much time in um, the other playbook. So we're so still kind of filling out this book, but I uh, just wanted to let you guys know I was testing it out a little bit and uh, trying to see. They still have that slip screen I really like in the goal line. There you see it. Uh, I think Green was actually out of bounds there uh, due to poor pass lead. Um, so sometimes... Sometimes you can actually screw up that play if you're not paying attention uh, and you pass lead it into the back of the end zone for no reason like I did there to try to get that super jumpy animation. But the only unfortunate part about that is sometimes it sometimes if you pass lead a little bit too much to the to the back of the end zone you can run into trouble. So guys, this is the 44. Um, oh, I already explained that to you, so no need to look at that. Um uh, Alright, so we need to have a little bit quicker adjustments this round. 
Um, man, I'm struggling right now. Okay. So Peyton Manning is just dotting my defense up like it's his job, which is, a you know. So since he's running a, f a five wide, I'm going to check down into this nickel three three five formation. Uh, really like this formation. Got some new stuff I've been working on out of it. Um, so you guys can definitely check that out. Uh, hopefully I'll have that up on the up on the channel soon. Uh, the problem is, guys, as I find new things out of formations we've already broken down, it's tough to go back and re-break that down because we're so, you know, regimented in what we have to do to get all of the stuff covered that I want to cover. It just is a difficult task, but hopefully we'll get through it. And uh, <coughs> excuse me, hopefully we'll get through that and get it get it all fixed up for you. But I did, I think I did break down the dog zone blitz. I don't know if I have yet or not, but it's what I've been doing a lot of out of this formation. Alright, so here we finally get the pressure set up. I'm standing right there. I need to get that interception, Madden. I can't believe that they would do that to us this year. That is absolutely really dumb. Like, defense already sucked in Madden 13. We didn't need this extra crap. Now, I, I don't agree with the A-gap crap either in Madden 20 or 13, so I do understand. I, I'm proud they took that out of the game, but God, I'm right there again! <sighs> so, maybe this guy isn't the guy to be trying out new stuff against. Oh my gosh, why am I so slow? Tackle him, you suck! You're Gosh dang it. So, right there we just freaking sucked it up on the freaking goal line. Shout out to my roommate for getting in the freaking video. Uh, the defense is getting dotted. Maybe I should just go back to the old stuff. That's one thing about online ranked. Sometimes I try out stuff and... Now that we're trying to get a little bit more gameplay aspect into that and kind of break it down, what I'm doing, um, unfortunately, I don't have the luxury of just, you know, just whatever, just trying stuff out. So definitely may need to go back to the old content. Uh, not his fault on the face max, so I just don't worry about it. Uh, another thing about this Vikings playbook, this is something that Z Boy three six five showed me last season. Uh, he was running this jumbo stretch run. It's not as, uh, well, actually, it's not bad. I mean, it's probably better this year than it is last year, but it's not the most effective run in the game, but it is one of them, I think, in my opinion. It's pretty good. It's it's tough to stop, but obviously there, since I ran it, you can get it stopped. I don't know. But, yeah, that's that. They also have the uh, outside zone out of the single back ace, which, <coughs> excuse me, I'm really a pretty big fan of that run. I think it's a mixture of the stretch in his own week. At least it just feels like that, or it just runs really well. I don't know what the I don't know what it is, but this run is very effective uh, in this game. And again, as I get shut down, but yeah, it is effective. It's just I suck right now, so that's part of it. Okay, let's get into some. Let's get back into the doubles on. This is. Um, uh, HB Circle, probably the best play overall out of this playbook. Uh, not out of this playbook, but out of that formation to come out in if you're needing to pass. Um, let me get a drink real quick. I've been a little sick. I need to stay hydrated. So, one sec, guys. Alright. Alright, here. Um, I'm probably going to have a uh, the out route here. I should have that. And I do. So, we'll take that. Take what the defense gives us. Um, I really like spin moves. Uh, been using them recently. Um, all you have to do is hold L2 and then the spin button and it should work out fine for you. And one thing I will say about that is if you, you need to spin like right before you get tackled. Otherwise, it's going to look stupid. So, I have noticed that. Okay. All right, here I want to put the tight end on a zig on this play. I'm going to roll out with Johnson. And that's why I think that this playbook is one of the better ones for uh, 
whatever uh, for the Bengals. I probably should have put that idiot on a zig. I should have put him on an in route. Sorry about that mistake there. But um, one of the things about this this team is that their offense is good, but it's also limited because Johnson only has like a 68 deep accuracy. So that's why I think that the bunt, the uh, Minnesota playbook is a little bit better for this team than maybe the Giants playbook would be. So. Um, definitely, and there's that jet sweep, guys. It's it's one of those runs. It's just one of those runs. It's like that halfback off tackle from Full House. It's it's very awkward to defend, and when you can, you know, put it down your opponent's throat like this, it can really open up a lot of things. Go put that play action play. It can open up a lot of things later in the game that I really like out of that doubles formation. The one problem with the doubles formation is they don't have the quick audible setup. So that's why I say, like, that's why I say about Minnesota's book is if you could set quick audibles, um, no better book in the game, in my opinion. Uh, there he gets a little lazy on his user D, and I caught him slipping, and luckily got into the end zone. And he needed that score because the defense has been less than perfect. And I'm gonna go back to some of the other stuff I was doing. Uh, it is, it's still gonna be new to you guys, but it's not new to me, um, just because. I haven't got an opportunity to break it down yet on the channel. And I'm trying to uh, get to that point. Unfortunately, it's just been a lot of work right now trying to get caught up. And uh, right now, we're just trying to get through week to week with all the video content that we provide. So so definitely, definitely be thinking about that. AJ Green just dropped it. I threw it way too early there. Um, yeah, I should have... I probably should have at least looked to the screen. I bet it was probably a little bit more open than I thought it would be. That's one thing. I've been so, like, just into that jumping animation that they get in that in route that I'll sometimes just not worry about even looking at the screen, no matter if it's covered or not. So, anyway, 2.30 left. We get balled half, so I'm not freaking out. Um, but, anyway, let's hop back into defense here. Let's see if we can lock this guy up. We're going to go back into some stuff that we really like out of this there's that one guy there we go that's pretty good pretty pressures for only sending two but then literally like my whole team just died oh my gosh oh, man nothing drives me more insane than when that happens in this game and it happens like every time Oh no, I screwed up that play. Ah! Ah! Throw it away. Luck, I guess that's what you do with this game. You just screw up your defense and then hope to God that it works. Heck, on it, man. I'm struggling right now. Hmm. Hmm. Sloppy game so far. Why are you going so. Hmm. Hmm. What is wrong with my team? Oh my gosh! To figure it out, I don't know. Normally it's a lot smoother, but everything's just jacked up right now. Dang on it! That ticks me off. Dang it! Missed the two-point conversion because we're too busy. Uh, this is why sometimes you have to. Sometimes you have to play through it, but daggone it. Luckily, we left enough time on our on the clock since we're so bad on defense in this game. Dang it. I can't believe that. My defense never gets put like that. Daggone it. But luckily, we have plenty of time here, so not freaking out. Uh, definitely want to go back to that doubles because he's starting to kind of feel like he has to stop that jet sweep, I have a feeling. So once he starts feeling like that, quarterback scramble will be wide open oh, hopefully mm. got that in route we'll just take that I mean that's just that's just one of those routes I mean he was late it's an easy read uh, I don't know I can't remember off the top of my head if that's an adjustment that gives him files make when they run that play uh, but I, it's just something um, looks like he quit the game maybe no I don't know what's going on lag lag Lag. It's going to give us a loss, too, because we're losing. There we go. 
I think I could lock this guy up. I just need a little bit more of an opportunity. My defense has just been fought like literally just breaking like 25 tackles. Uh, we'll go ahead and, and we'll go ahead and eat that one. We'll just throw that away. Um, not a good look there. Probably shouldn't have no huddled that run. Uh, it was kind of obvious we were going to do the same exact thing. So that's one thing I said about the Vikings book is like if you just run, like if you just run no huddle, you won't have success with this book. I'll be right. On, I'll be honest with you right now. You will not have success with the Vikings book running no huddle if you don't set your quick audibles. You have to make a custom playbook if you want to have any success running the Vikings playbook. Now we got the jet sweep. Though. Look at that wide open that is. And then the dude, the mother effort just sits there. Why don't you block for me? Why? Why? What are you freaking doing? Ah, we're going to run again. Might as well. Hawkins, you are the biggest piece of trash. Yeah, get injured, you son of a biscuit. Ah. All right, now we're mad. And that does not bode well for him. Give me that. Give me that. Throw it. Throw it. You throw it away, fag. Take a sack. Dang it. I had to take a sack. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Ah. What is going on here? Let's see what we got on the depth chart. I don't know if we have everybody we want in the game, man. Dang it. Oh, my gosh. Such ugly adjustments. Why has it been so hard for me? Lately, I, I don't know what's going on, but it has been the hardest thing for me to, a, to, to hot route in the middle of, like, a setup. For, it's only, I don't know why it is, but I'm, like, so slow right now. Like, slower than I've ever been. I don't know what. It's really starting to get on my nerves. Let's hope to God he doesn't throw a corner out because we didn't have time to put the yellows out there because he's been quick stabbing us the whole time. We're on that. We're on that. Pick. Pick the ball. Thank you, Ray Ray. Oh, my gosh. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, my gosh. You've seriously got to be kidding me. Can't play that any better. Oh, my gosh. That's ridiculous. Mmm, that's so stupid. They're going to give him another shot. <sighs> Can't believe that. Cannot believe that. All right, here we go. We're going to send two-way pressure. Pick the ball. Thank you. Go. You fag. Why wouldn't you just knock it down at that point? You, uh, why do they pick the ball when you don't want them to, and then they they don't pick the ball when you do want them to, and you, it just really drives me up the freaking wall? Golly, that at least he went for it, I guess. But dead gone, man. Should have been an interception going my way with the ball. He wouldn't have had a chance to get his freaking field goal. See, like, this is what I was thinking with this jet sweep is just rolling left. But are you kidding me? Josh Johnson has a pretty good throw on the run rating. Man, I guess it was because I was rolling my other side. I don't know, guys. Sorry, I'm really sloppy today. Mm. Dang it. Man, Minnesota's playbook, gone. It's good, but, man, if you, like I said, quick audibles is an issue. He knows about the wheel to the right, but I guess he's not going to do anything about it, so we'll just take it. Break a tackle, Bernard. That's why we freaking play with the Bengals, because we get a running back that can do something. Come on. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. Mm. Wheel route left. Are you kidding me, Josh Johnson? See, that's what I was saying, guys. That 68 deep accuracy is going to kill... That's the one thing that I don't like about the Bengals. Everything else, I really like them. That 68 deep, though, man, that that can get that can get a little dicey. So right here, we've kind of got to get a touchdown. I mean, I, I mean, we could get away with three, but I really would rather get a touchdown here. Um, obviously, obviously, I would rather. Get, I mean, what I mean is like, can I get a block, Bernard? Thank you. Go, Hawkins. Go. Get out of bounds, you piece of garbage. Shoot! I just blew my chance. Ah, uh, go, go, get to the line of scrimmage. Get to the line of scrimmage. I'm throwing the corner out. 
I'm throwing the corner around. Go! Snap the ball! Oh, no. I didn't mean to hit that button. I did not mean to hit that button. I should have called a timeout. Horrible clock management. Now we're going to be forced to take a freaking field goal. Horrible clock management by me. I could not have played that any worse. I could not have played that any worse. I needed to go out of bounds with, with Hawkins. I was trying to get extra yardage. And then I should have thrown. I accidentally hit the wrong button. And I accidentally lobbed it instead of bulleting it. Because I bumped the wrong button. And I like clicked off immediately because I was like, oh, freak. That was the wrong button. Just a pathetic, pathetic clock management by me right there. Just a horrible sequence of plays. Oh, no, man. Gosh, dang it. All right. Well, we get the ball. So we got one thing going for us. But we got our, we got to stop. We need to go ahead and get six here. Uh, three is not good here. Three is a failure on this drive. You got to get six here. You got to take it down. Get six. Maybe a kick return. Oh, I spun the wrong way. Golly, man. Why would it spin me towards the sideline? Ah. So we'll start out with the run. Um, real quick, could you guys do me a favor? I know I've been yelling a lot, but um, if, if the mic quality and this is if the mic quality in this video has improved from some of the previous videos, let me know. I am doing a little something different with the mic. Uh, if it's worse, let me know. Is that as well? Definitely let me know if it's worse. Also, if it's better, I need to know because I need to know if I need to get a new microphone or if I can just use this little new setup I've been doing. Bernard, you're freaking pissing me off. Gosh, dang it. Now, I don't understand what this guy's running. He's running like nickel strong, but not moving his linebackers over. Like, it's really annoying. I'm ranting on this kid. It's not even his fault. I'm just playing pathetic right now. Dang, go on. Hmm. All right. I need, like, I wish I had, like, a, maybe a streak or something, but really nobody on the Bengals can really threat you. We'll just take Gresham. That little in route, guys, that's the thing. Like, something as simple as a five-yard in route in this game. And then we're going to go to huddle. We're going to go check down into the gun empty bunch here, and we're going to run the, the, uh, the uh, read option. Obviously, I accidentally hit the PA because I'm literally playing like I'm five years old right now. So we'll just go ahead and run the PA. And that's why, because I was I had a feeling that he was going to be blitzing heavy to try to stop the the jet sweep, the the PA jet sweep we were running. So made sense. I don't know. It's a good thing that they have that play in their quick audibles. I'm trying to figure out what he's even running. It's a four three, or it's like a I think it's like a sugar D. I really do. Dude just comes through my A gap, and I am an idiot. Oh, that's a sick run. Oh, don't tackle me now. Don't tackle me! No! Dang it! I almost turned that into something special. If that was like Ted Ginn for the Niners, like when he used to play for the Niners, when they were actually good when he used to play for them, um, that would have been a pretty nice run there. Pretty nice little gain there, guys. <sighs> okay. Let's see what we could do. <sighs> Trying to get a little run on, get my run game on with Johnson. He's been running a lot of man, so uh, I was trying, I, that was basically the idea. Was I was just gonna get out of the pocket with Johnson. I slid protect. I slid my line to the left there, um, because I wanted to roll out that way. That's one thing about Johnson is, is we, you know, and here we're gonna have to sub him out. If you guys don't know, if a quarterback is too tired. He literally will not, he won't even be able to snap the ball. Um, for some reason in this game, they make that. I don't know really why, but I guess it's to prevent you from running with your quarterback every down. I don't know what it is. <coughs> Excuse me, but that's what happens. So We just need to be aware of that. There's a screen. He didn't get out on it, and I'm just going to take that and try to get to the, <coughs> try to get to the edge of the end zone. So we get a touchdown. We really needed that drive to kind of put us back in the driver's seat. Uh, we're still not in, you know, really, uh, we still don't have a big cushion right now. Uh, we need to go ahead and get a stop on defense. Um, 
Let's see if we can't uh, get another drive, uh, another another touchdown possession. Right there, I probably should have gone for two. Well, yeah. Yeah, I think I should have gone for two there. But, I don't know. What will you guys do there? Because if you go for two there, then you have another chance to go for two on the next possession if you missed the two on the first one. And then you could, like, revamp it, and you would still get that touchdown possession lead. Right there, all over that. Come on. The simplest plays, guys. The simplest plays. All right, we're trying to get two-way. Unfortunately, we didn't get all of our adjustments in, so we should get dotted here. Yep. It's not really a dot, but oh, it's just a completion. That would have been me, but unfortunately, I'm really slow right now in my adjustments. Yellow, yellow, disguise cushion. Let me use this guy. Play action. Kill him. Are you serious? Are you serious? Ugh. Come on. Not freaking dealing with this right now. Dang on it. Oh my gosh. We'll just play Fag D. I mean, that's pretty much what I feel like doing right now, so that's what we're going to do. Slant route over the middle. Should be it. I don't, I don't even know what to say to that. I don't even know what to say to that. I don't even know what to say to that. That's ridiculous. That's absolutely pathetic. The coverage deep requires like two adjustments that I still didn't get back on my user player. Dang, on it. Alright, uh, I form probably a stretch here. Auto motion, it's gonna snap right here. We can just come through the gap. That's why you don't run auto motion runs, guys, unless you're running the read option out of the empty bunch. That's the only auto motion run I would run, just my opinion. That was a that was a pretty smart. I mean, it was pretty smart, but he didn't get anything. But I like that call there. You know, try to try to run the ball to get a short yard or to get a manageable third down. But unfortunately, he didn't get it. But the idea was, I like the idea of what he was trying to do there. Pick the ball off, Bertha Set, whatever your name is. Make a play! Uh, I feel like I'm like two clicks off of him. What I'm going to do here, this is something I like to do against people who don't really have that that one route, you know. So I'm going to come out in this cover two man, I'm going to send pressure off the right, and then I'm going to press coverage on the outside here. And the goal is to send really heavy pressure. And an and, and idea is he's not going to get anything, uh, at least not anything open. We're going to shade everybody out. We're all over that. Pick. Go. 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 And see the pressure, the idea behind that play is that the pressure will come so fast that the idea is he's going to panic and just throw it into traffic. We run zone like every other down. End up getting a pick six. That's actually a pretty nice little chess match there. But... The idea is we take everything with a grain of salt with the zone where he has to kind of take what we give him in the zone. He has to he has a feeling, you know, yeah, he's in zone, he's running that, blah, blah, blah. When we switch up to man, it's usually in a critical uh, it's in a critical situation. We run that cover two play. It's We're obviously in man. I mean, obviously, because we don't base align that. We man align it. But we set the pressure up to come off the left edge or the right edge. The idea is it just throws a curveball at him. That's the that's literally the idea behind that. Uh, that's a horrible animation, of course. I, I love <coughs> when they get big when they don't need to. <coughs> it just screws up the whole play. But that was actually a decent uh, play by me. One of the one of the many few of this game. So, all right. <sighs> 
Uh, let's see if we can lock him up again. I like that man coverage. Uh, he had one route open, but he just missed him, and that's the idea. You know, you use her, and he just panicked and threw, the flat, threw late to the flat. Set, made a great play. I can't even say his name right. That doesn't do him justice, but... Uh, so we're going to give him a little breather here. He, he got a little tired running all those uh, suicides in practice the other day. Pick. That's why you do that. that. I just went over that. I believe I just went over that. The contain blitz. The contain blitz. They pick the flats. I'm telling you. Boom. Love that. That was something. That's something that I'm. That's something I really like running on, like, what I'll do is I'll run that contain blitz to one side. I'll put the contain on the back side. I'll use it in the middle. I got the yellows all across the board. I like that play a lot. That's a base play in this defense. It's very effective. I like the way they play the flats. You saw it there. That's a crucial interception by me because if I didn't get that interception, it was still only a one-possession game. Now it turns into... You know, now we're in the money time. Um, now we can check down into one of my favorite formations it, um, in the game right now. Uh, the, the full house normal. A lot of people sleep on this formation year to year. Uh, it's been one of the best formations since Madden 10, Madden 11 days. And uh, it's always going to be effective because you can pick up pressure. You have this nice block and release pattern to Bernard. Just a lot of things you could do with it. All right. So here, uh, we're gonna look to hit green. We're gonna put him on a drag. We're gonna block both tight ends. Act like we're running something here. Motion back. Try to fake out a little bit. Main read is the drag. So it's man. So we just check down to that block and release pattern to Bernard. We truck him over a little bit. Try to get into the end zone. Now I don't know if we could actually. We actually can audible out, which is nice. We can go to any two running back set. So if I had the strong close quick audible setup, I would have quick audible to a dive. Um, the cool part about the, the strong close is you could also audible out of the strong close. You could go into, if you wanted to, you could go from strong close into full house, which is nice. Uh, really nice. Let's see here. Got an email. Got a comment. Your boy. Great work. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Try hard. Run commit, and the freaking Green Ellis just puts his head down, and that's why I like, really, on third and one. I mean, obviously, QB sneak is kind of a tell you're doing that. Strong close, you can do a little bit more, so I like strong close a little bit more. Um, obviously, it's not the end-all, be-all, but it is effective, and that is why I like strong close. In those situations, uh, it would be really, really money if I had like a fullback slam, which you could put in if you had a custom. But full house is really effective with that. We have the double shake in our autos. Deck on it. I didn't even know I had the double shake in my autos. Here, uh, we're just kind of looking to try to hit these guys quick. I forgot to click on. I forgot about that. EA fixed the stupid snap throw. They tried to fix the snap throw crap and. Now you have to click onto the guy if you want to if you want to throw it quick like that. So that's a user error that that was open, but it's just a mistake. Probably should have actually checked down to the uh, wheel route since he ran commit, but obviously I didn't really do a good job of reading the defense there. I haven't done a good job of it all day. Oh man, we should have laid his butt out. Uh, that was probably a dumb decision too to go for two there. But just try to see the see the uh, goal line plays. Alrighty. So now we can get into this. Um, I really like this. Um, I really like this D. I'm right there. Uh, at least he dropped it. But I really like this new defense. Um, it's a it's a variation of the 46 bear under, but it's out of 44. So I can stay in my 44 D and still have the perk of the heavy pressure from the bear under with that right there and then that's the really good uh thing i like also about this uh defense i've been running and that i didn't get a chance to show it to you early enough because i wasn't really doing a good job with my adjustments but the way that the pressure comes um out of this formation i really like that i really like how fast uh this is a lot faster than the average pressure we send 
it gets two guys free every time. So, and there you see the heavy pressure forces a bad throw by Peyton Manning, forcing him into a fourth and ten situation. And you see he's on his back. That's where Peyton Manning is worse, when he's sitting on his back. Um, obviously, but for, for obvious reasons. But anyways, guys, that's why I really like this play uh, um, for these situations. Probably going to be something heavy to the right. I don't like this look. Uh, I need to scream over there. Fortunately, I was late. Um, that's one of the problems with this uh, coverage. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to put that safety in a buzz. We're going to adjust a little bit. We're still going to send the same pressure at him. Now we have a guy there. There we go. Now we're locking. Now we're locking in. Now we're doing stuff. But uh, like this 44, uh, like I said, it's a variation of the bear. It can be a variation of the bear under. It can be a variation of the 46, uh, 46 normal cover or, or uh, run defense that we like for so many years. Um, a lot of things you can do with this defense. So that's why I like it so much. Uh, it's just very flexible. You can do a lot with it. See how fast that pressure gets in there? Like, dude couldn't even complete the corner route. I mean, dang, go on. Now we're going to switch it up. We're going to go man. Like I said, I don't call this much. It's pretty obvious when I'm in man. That's the one drawback to it. But I like the way this cover two man works. Um, there I might get burnt. Can I get LB SWAT? There we go. So that was a pretty big SWAT by Ray Ray. Now we're in a fourth and ten situation. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a... I'm just going to run a basic pressure. Um, out of that bare front because it gives pressure faster. Oh no. Oh no, I'm going to get dotted. Pick. Leon Hall undercut that streak really nicely. Put him in a hook zone. Um, but I should have, I probably should have, uh, I, I didn't get my whole play set up there like I wanted to. But anyways, guys, that's probably going to be a quit. I appreciate your time today for checking out my gameplay. Um, this is the Minnesota Offensive Playbook. It can, be, it can be found on madtips.com in the description below, full breakdown. I'll have a scheme of the week for it coming soon. And also, this was the 44 defensive uh, defense we run, and it was the 4-3 four, four, playbook. Really like that defense a lot. Let me know what you guys think about it, and uh, appreciate your feedback. Also, guys, be sure to subscribe for more Madden 25 gameplay and more Madden 25 tips and tricks. Thanks for watching this week. Hopefully you guys enjoy it, and we'll see you guys on the next gameplay. We'll also see you guys every day with our four videos a day, Blitz of the Day, Scheme of the Week breakdowns, and other and much more content to come. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it, and please retweet this video if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.